Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to use the interpolation function in MATLAB. For interpolation, MATLAB provides certain inbuilt function called interp1, 2 and 3 for like 1D, 2D and 3D. We will use the simple one and we will see how we can do that. To use the interpolation function, I will use this equation of height which is equal to a square of velocity into sin theta square sin square theta in divided by 2g. This is the simple uh, height versus uh, velocity trajectory equation. In this equation, the wave points I will take is velocity which varies from 10 to 20 in a step of 2 and theta in a, from 30 to 80 in a step of 10. Once we have done it, I will use interpolation function to find my height at these points like for velocity 13 and 15 and theta 55 and uh, 65. So let's start. I move to this. I create an empty script. I just save this script saying interpolation equation or function, whatever you can want. Since I'm writing a script, I'm not putting a function, just a, just a script. So, uh, first let me take this equation, I will just copy paste, of course it's in a high level language and I will have to change it into the matter syntax, I will do that. So once we have it, so first let me define the parameters, so g will be equal to 9.8 which is acceleration due to gravity, velocity as we saw it will change from 10 to 20 on a step size of 2, I hope you know this syntax, I will not uh, go in details. Theta will be equal to 30 to 80. Yes. Please make sure that the size of velocity and theta, these two are same because they those are used in the same equation. So if the size is not same, it will give matrix which mismatch error. So now we have to do the square of v. So we can do v square. I will prefer to put it into the bracket and since v is a vector here so we will have to do the element wise a square so for that we have to put a dot so dot this means element element wise a square of this uh, v into sine a square theta so again we will have to do is uh, theta is fine but for us making it a square uh, i will first bring it into one particular um, bracket yes so this is sine and uh, now I will make a square out of the sign. So why I am giving so many brackets is to be just sure that uh, uh, the comparison happens correctly. So once this uh, sine square theta is done, I don't think I need this last one. And then divided by 2 into uh, g. So probably I will put one more bracket just for. And divided by 2 into g. So this is our height which we have got from these values. So before I use the uh, uh, <coughs> interpolation function, let's plot and see it. What happens? So plot of uh, x, which so first let's plot uh, v comma h, v comma h, and then we plot uh, probably uh, okay here I can create figure one. I can have two figures. And now I will have figure 2 and I will do a plot of theta comma h. So now let's run this. Okay. Ah, so over here also it will be an element wise square. So we have to just put this here. I think this should be fine. Okay. So now we have to see that it still gives this uh, matrix dimension must agree so I think it should be element wise multiplication as well so now let's see if it works yes it works so if you see we have two figures this is figure 2 and this is figure 1 so both have this graph so the first figure is for velocity uh, along with this uh, height h and this is theta angle along with this uh, height so of course the height remains same the only thing is the x axis changes over in both the places I close these two and now we will find the interpolation. So for interpolation, uh, we can use this inter 
one we have other also two and three so when so one is for linear uh, function which is our case so we will use this one dimension but if you are using a surface or a mesh kind of structure where you have two variables depending for your function so you can use 2d and if you have 3d like x y and z if your variables varies in three dimension you should use this inter inter interpolation 3d so we will use this inter one and for this the first two variables should be uh, so we will use this particular syntax so first should be uh, my actual uh, points so which will be say for example my v comma and then my value which will be h and then my values at which I want the interpolation to happen so that is my other two values so uh, I will mark it as vq the query the interpolated uh, values where I want it and I want it at uh, 13 and 15 if I am not wrong and theta q was sorry, 55 65 so once I have these values what I can do is I can just have it vq here and I can assign this value as interpolation underscore v yes and similarly we can do is interpolation underscore theta inter one theta comma h comma theta q and that's it. I will not put a semicolons so that I can see the values on my uh, metal account window. Now I will run it and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so I got to some values here. So my interpolation V is uh, this at these two values. So at 13 it is 2.83 and at 15 it is 0 0.950. So let's see in the figure. So this is my the first uh, figure where it shows height versus um, uh, uh, velocity and for 13 is somewhere here so it comes somewhere here so it's 2.3 so it seems correct and 15 also is somewhere here which is probably 0.95 or less than 1 so this seems correct similarly for theta q we can see that it's 0.95 and 5.5 uh, so if we open the second figure and try to see so for theta 55 which is here which is again 0.95 and theta 65 is 5.55 yeah so this is the way you can use this inter one uh, functions to use interpolation to find the values at a given query point for a function which is written for some some other uh, waypoints okay thank you for watching my video if you have any questions regarding interpolation or this uh, function please put in my comment section and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you